I made this delicious sambar in the eat, bite and chew kitchen. Watch this video to find out how to make it. Hey everybody, let's get started with the sambar. So what I have with me is stool dal that I have soaked for the last 20 to 30 minutes. So this is how it should look like. And what I'm gonna do next is, I'm gonna rinse it and drain out this water and I'm gonna pressure cooker it until it's soft. I'm gonna add some turmeric and salt while pressure cookering it. So while the tour dal boils in the background, I'm going to start making some tempering. And for that, I have three tablespoons of clarified butter. And to that, I'm gonna add half a teaspoon of rice. Okay, just like that. The next thing that goes into it is hing. So I'm just gonna eyeball it. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay, so I've done eight sprinkles of hing. Along with that, I'm gonna add three to four dried red chilies. Okay, there you go. And I also have half a cup of curry patta or curry leaves. Okay, just like that. Okay, let's give this a quick saute. To this, I'm gonna add half sliced red onion. So the onions look all pink and soft. So to these, I'm gonna add a mix of vegetables. I have some eggplant, some ghee, and some chopped okra. So just dump it in just like that. Okay, there you go. Let's give this a quick mix. I'm gonna eyeball some salt on it and I'm gonna let it cook until it's half cooked. Now to make the masala mix for the sambar, I have with me 3 4 cup of tamarind pulp. You can just buy it um, from a store directly. To that, I'm gonna add 1 teaspoon of coriander powder. Okay, there you go. I'm also gonna add 1 teaspoon of amchur powder. Okay. And then the next thing that goes into it is two teaspoons of sambar masala. I use the MTR brand for sambar masala. I have found that it has the most taste compared to all the other masala brands. Okay, almost done with the sambar masala. There you go. And you can also add some Kashmiri red chili powder for some extra taste and color. All right, so there you go. Since it's a little too coarse, I'm gonna add half cup of water. Okay, just like that. Okay, mix it again. And then you just pour it over the vegetables, just like that. Okay, time to give it a quick mix, and then I'll go ahead and turn off the flame. So now that the vegetables are done for the sambar, I'm going to go ahead and open my pressure cooker. Okay, just like that. And the dal looks ready. I'm gonna give this a quick mix, just like that. And then I'm gonna transfer these vegetables into the dal. So now that the vegetables are mixed with the dal, I'm going to add two cups of water, just like that on top of the mixture. Okay, so it's going to be a little liquidy, so this is the consistency you're looking for. If you want, at this point, you can adjust the salt. And now I'm just going to pressure cooker it for another two or three minutes until it all comes together. I hope you enjoy eating this sambar with either rice, idli or dosa. Thank you for watching.